YouTube, it's Jason again here with a pretty big pickups video. Uh, today's Saturday, December 31st. It's uh, New Year's Eve. Got the day off of work, so don't normally have Saturdays off. So I was able to go to some thrift stores today. Pretty excited. Um, thrift Saturdays where they put their new stuff out. I don't really get to go too much with the job I have, so normally go out on Sundays and you know sometimes I find stuff sometimes I don't I, I was kind of unsure on how today would go but the stuff I found was amazing um, so I'll just start out with what I got my fiance for Christmas just some of the stuff like I said I already showed last time that she got the 3DS um, but there's just some games I had picked up for her she's a huge Kirby fan so the first game I picked up was uh, Kirby's Dream Land for the Game Boy. This game, I picked it up off eBay, um, I want to say only like five bucks. So I was pretty happy. Um, I didn't know too, I don't know a lot about Kirby games. So this is his first one on the Game Boy. Um, you can suck people up and stuff. I tried it out a little bit, but you don't gain the powers from them, so I don't know. I she she played it a little bit. She likes it so far. Uh, I like the newer ones where you get their powers, but it was pretty cool. It's pretty cheap. So, and then the next one, uh, Kirby's Avalanche. This game for the Super Nintendo, I picked it up off of eBay for her, and it was only two dollars and twenty five cents. Um, I th I thought it was a Kirby game. It's more like I'm not exactly sure what type of games these are. It's like the, the Dr. Mario style where you got the two different colors, and you flip them around, and you try and match up four, uh, and you battle people. It's pretty cool. Two dollars and twenty-five cents though for her to have another Kirby game. She's already got uh, a Game Boy Advance, the Return to Dreamland, I think is what it's called. She's beat that. She's got the DS game, uh, Squeak Squad, and she beat that already. So just the, wanted to get her some more Kirby games can't wait for the Kirby games to come out on the 3DS uh, when that comes out I'll be picking that up for her and the last one I just actually went up and picked it up today from the post office this one was it was 10 bucks but it was free shipping and I just really wanted to get it for her um, Kirby's Adventure for the NES uh, I haven't thrown it in yet to try it out but I'm pretty excited she's pretty excited she wants to play it um, a couple days ago, I want to say it was Wednesday, I went into GameStop because I wanted this game by Atlas. It's called uh, Dokapon Kingdom. They only had the disc. The disc was in pretty bad shape. Uh, it was only $9.99 though. I looked on eBay and they were going for about $25. And so I figure $10 is something I really wanted to play and I'm going to just keep an eye out on eBay for the case and the manual. Um, but I went in and I found some other games that I was like, oh, well, those are pretty reasonably priced. Uh, my Uncle Roy sent me 25 bucks, so I was like, well, let me see what I can do. They had buy one, buy two, get one free, and so I was looking through the games. The lady came up and she's like, oh, can I help you find anything? Uh, I was like, well, I'm just looking for, you know, take advantage of the buy two, get one free. Uh, and she's like, well, we're actually trying to get rid of PS2, so the deal is buy two, get two free. So I actually ended up spending $30 there and picked up eight games. So in total, these are the eight games I got for 30 bucks from GameStop for the deal. So like I said, Dokapon Kingdom. This game is really awesome. I threw it in with me and my fiance watched me uh, play it last night. It's, it's like, to me, from what I've played so far, it's Mario Party meets a role-playing game. It's pretty neat. Uh, you can play against computers or play against actual people. Uh, so I played it against the computer last night and we're looking at, I need to get another PS2 controller um, to get, so we can play against each other. Uh, and that's, I guess we'll just do that right now too. Uh, I've been saying that I wanted to get a new PS2 for a long time because my other one was broken. Uh, my fiance had already got me a Christmas gift, the 3DS that I showed off in, the, in my Christmas video. But she felt bad, wanted to have something for me to open. 
So she actually went to my best friend Nathan's pawn shop and picked up a PS2 for me. Works, everything's great. It's the black slim model. So that's how I was able to play Dokkapon Kingdom and that's part of the reason why I picked up the PS2 games I got. So pretty excited to open this on Christmas. I threw in uh, Nocturne, Shin Megami, Ton Shin Megami Tensei's Nocturne, uh, which is a game I had and wanted to play but didn't have a PS2. So played that on Christmas, played the Dokkapon Kingdom. Uh, the other games I got I haven't been able to play yet. Um, just have, I mean, I just got them Wednesday, so uh, the, we'll just go through them. And like I said, these are all eight of them, including Dokkapon Kingdom, for 30 bucks. Uh, so this is RPG Maker 2. I've seen these on the PS1, the RPG Makers. Um, it looks fun. I don't know if it's going to be too boring for me. It seems like it could be a lot of work, but I'm definitely going to give this one a try. Uh, all the games I got, other than Dokkapon Kingdom, were complete. They've got the instruction manual, the disc, and the case with the artwork. So RPG Maker 2, excited to play that. This one I don't know too much about. I was getting to the point where I wanted to get complete games for the deal, but I wanted to take advantage of the deal, so I'm trying to find games that I would I would like to play. Um, so this is Romance of the Three Kingdoms. I've heard of this series before. This is, I'm guessing, Romance of the Three Kingdoms 11. Um, looks like I, th I've heard, I think it's like Dynasty Warriors meets uh, real-time strategy, but it could be a fighting game meets real-time strategy. So I'll be playing this one eventually, and uh, I don't know, it looks pretty fun. Uh, the next one I got was Capcom Fighting Evolution. That's a fighting game for the PlayStation 2. Um, I My friend Dennis is a huge fighting game fan. He said that this one was pretty bad. I looked it up, some history on it, and it did really poorly. They just uh, copied and pasted characters from other games. Uh, they're characters from Street Fighter Alpha, Street Fighter Al Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 3, Darkstalkers, and then actually a Japanese only game until this point. The characters were never in America for, called Red Earth. Uh, they just copied and pasted the characters from the games and I guess it made it really unbalanced. And then um, our friend Dennis told me about this guy. I don't remember his name. He's pretty big. He's one of the people that was involved in Street Fighter 4. Just went in and changed stuff that didn't need to be changed, like the sprites of Zangief's eyes, and so made it made him look really funny. Uh, it was just really unbalanced, but he said it's still fun to play. I, I threw it in just to see Zangief, and I mean, it, I'm not an expert on fighting games, so I don't, I don't know the difference of like slow down time or unbalanced. I just have fun, so this one's pretty cool. Next one is Dark Cloud. Uh, I've always heard good things about this game. Uh, my friend Dennis said it plays a lot like Zelda. Uh, I'm gonna be. I'll try it out. It's just. I mean, this was like 5.99, and it was like I said, the buy two get two free. All of them were 30 bucks. Uh, another one I won't talk about long. Xeno Saga, just another role playing game. The lady at GameStop said it was pretty good. I've always thought about checking it out, and so you know, total 30 bucks for all of these picked it up. Uh, and the, these last two titles are just, again, things I was running out of things to get, wanted to get complete games, stuff that I knew I would play. And I, I'm not going to play this one until I get the first one, but it's uh, Prince of Persia, The Two Thrones. I need Sands of Time. And they had it, but it wasn't complete. So I'll be playing this after I get that one. And then this one, I have no, no really idea of what this one is. I read the back. It sounds interesting. Uh, Obscure the Aftermath. So that was just the last game I could find that was complete to finish it off. Um, and then we'll just go through today. This All the stuff that I'm showing, well, yeah, all the stuff I'm showing that from here out is what I got today. Uh, and so I'll just go through the day with you. It was just, it was amazing. I walked into the, to the ARC, the thrift store. Uh, I know all, we have three ARCs here. I know where they keep all their video game stuff. So I told my fiance, she always looks at other things, keeps an eye out for me while she looks at her stuff. Uh, but she knows I go straight for the games. And I went and I had to go to the bathroom. And so I'm like, well, I'm just gonna look really quick because it was Saturday, the place is packed. There's all, most of the stuff there is half off on Fridays, I mean Saturdays. So it's like, I'm gonna look really quick and then I'll go to the bathroom. And so I go back there and they've got this case 
and I just see some boxed Game Boy games for five bucks a piece. And so I'm like, oh, I'll get those, five bucks a piece. I tell the guy, oh, I need this case open, and he says, well, it's already open. So I'm like, okay, I got this. And I went in and I grabbed them, and then I actually got uh, an N64 game. Uh, and so I grabbed all those. The first one was Banjo Kazooie. I have Banjo Tooie. Uh, I've played them both. I actually own them both on Xbox Live Arcade. Um, so I got this to finish that. This one was five bucks as well. And then I, I pulled the Game Boy games out. They're bo three box Game Boy games. One of them ended up not having the right game in it, so I just I passed on it. I don't even remember what the title was, but I figure a box Game Boy game for five bucks. But the other two were just way more cool because I pulled them out, uh, and they're actually factory sealed Game Boy games. And so the first one is Avenging Spirit. This one kind of looks like a platforming shooter. Uh, it sounds pretty fun. I'm not going to play it just because it's sealed and I'm going to leave it sealed, but five bucks, factory sealed Game Boy game. This one, the box is a little bit rougher. Uh, you know, it's from this one's from 1992, so just sitting around. I'm, I'm happy to have it for five bucks. And then the second one, this box is actually in like perfect condition. Solar Striker for the Game Boy. Factory sealed, the box is just great. This is actually looks like a shoot 'em up for the Game Boy. I would actually I would actually throw this in, but I just don't want to open it. So maybe look for a you know, a loose cart copy sometime down the line. So I took those games, the the two Game Boy games and the N sixty four game, and I ran up front where my fiance she looks through the the different collectibles and stuff and I gave them to her. I'm like, alright, I have to go get this other case and I still I really have to go to the bathroom. And so I, I go and I'm look, I hand her the stuff. I'm like, guard this stuff with your life. And then I go and I'm just I'm looking at this case that they sometimes they have other video game stuff in there, but most of the time they don't. I'm like, oh, I'm scanning and I didn't see anything. And then I just I look up on top of the glass case uh, was this, and I couldn't believe it. Uh, the slim Super Nintendo. And some I've seen some stuff there at the thrift stores, especially the Arc. They like to overprice things when they think they know it's worth something like they had a boxed Nintendo there and I didn't I didn't even look at it as far as like opening it up and seeing what it had but the box the box was in pretty good condition and it, it they said it had everything in it but they wanted like a hundred bucks for it and I'm like I I can't pay a hundred bucks at a thrift store this thing it didn't have the hookups it didn't have a controller or any games with it had an as is sticker right here but the price was five bucks and so these things I don't know from what I've dealt with them and from what I've heard these things are pretty much like tanks in a sense that they don't really break I'm like five bucks as is I'll take it so I run back to her and uh, I give it to her and I'm like alright guard this stuff with your life I still have to go to the bathroom so I run to the bathroom come back out and uh, I look through the rest of the stuff double check the the games the game case and they didn't really have anything else I'm like well I'll go look around the store sometimes there's stuff scattered around and I actually stumbled upon a case that had uh, 23 regular Nintendo, they were loose cartridges, but 23 Nintendo games and a, a Game Gear. I already have a Game Gear and they wanted like six bucks and it had some sticker on it, I passed on that. Uh, they had some good stuff in there, not anything too exciting, a lot of stuff I already had, but it was just cool to see 23 regular Nintendo games in there. Uh, this one's probably the most happy I am of well, the two that I picked out from there uh, was Hudson's Adventure Island. I've, I've heard this is a good game. I think it's worth a decent amount. Not like a lot, but you know, more than the five bucks. This, these are actually five ninety nine. It's more than the six bucks I paid for it. Uh, Adventure Island, I'll throw it in. I've got my Super Nintendo, I mean my regular Nintendo hooked up because of the, another game I picked up recently that I was playing. Uh, so I picked up Adventure Island and then Chippendale Rescue Rangers. This both the games are just in great condition. Five ninety nine. I I I don't know. I used to watch the show when I was a kid. I liked it, uh, so I'll play the video game. Um, and then there was went to a different went to an indoor flea market, and sometimes they have stuff there. Sometimes they don't. I got the boxed. Nintendo football game from there last time I was there for two bucks so I always like to look just in case it's just fun for me to go treasure hunting searching for old games 
and in one case the guy had both of these they were five bucks each it was a Game Boy Color the purple one and this is this is my third Game Boy Color I didn't have this 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 color of it so five bucks awesome uh, and then they actually had Zelda Link's Awakening for five bucks I used to own this game when I was a kid five bucks picked it up uh, it was actually I just wanted to make sure everything worked I like to make sure stuff works uh, as long as I have the stuff hooked up um, right away so I brought this home threw it in my Game Boy and it was just I don't know nostalgia just slapped me in the face everything just felt so familiar I'm gonna definitely be playing this game through again I love I don't know I love it five bucks picked it up um, and there was one more thing oh actually there's two there's two more things I picked up at a different arc that we went to they had a bunch of games but it was just a lot of stuff I already had a lot of stuff in bad condition like Double Dragon 2 uh, Tecmo Super Bowl but it, I already had it and they wanted like six bucks a piece I'm like I don't I don't really I don't really need it but then just randomly walking I found this it's uh, a winter hat I just saw I just noticed it because it had Mario on the side it says power up and then it's it, I guess it's for the new Super Mario Brothers game for the DS this thing was a dollar twenty nine and then it was a color the color tag on it was half off so half off of a dollar twenty nine less than a buck to pick this up it doesn't really fit my head uh, it does fit my fiance I'd actually be wearing it I'm just gonna I just had it sitting on my uh, ET stuffed animal over there because I thought it made him look cool um, and then I've got to grab the other thing really quick. One second. All right, I'm back. This, um, I don't know. I watched, I watched this when I was when I was younger. There's so many different versions of it out, so I'm not exactly sure how old this one is. Uh, I just got a VHS Sonic Christmas Blast. It was 50 cents. I, I don't know. It just caught my eye, so I was like, oh, Sonic looked at it 50 cents I, I own a VHS but I doubt I'll watch this just put it on the, one of my shelves just thought it was pretty neat 50 cents picked it up um, and then I've got one more thing this is the this is the thing that uh, I've been playing my regular Nintendo for uh, picked it up my, from my friends pawn shop it was it actually gave it to me for free and there's a guy I watch I've talked about him before Lautner Land this is one of his favorite games for the Game Boy I'm not sure if he likes this one on the NES, but it's Kid Icarus. And again, this was free. Threw it in. It was fun. I think this one's glitched, though. I don't know. It, it just kept, like, acting up weird. I'm not sure. But it was pretty fun. So this one was free. Can't beat it. And so I'm going to, I'm just going to put it all together and then do, like, a over, do like an overview shot. And uh, I'm going to do the math and see how much it was. Um, but yeah. So here's just a quick recap of everything I got for the day, and I just wanted to give a total. This was 90 bucks worth of stuff um, that I spent. I think it was a good deal. Got the Game Boy Color, the two factory sealed boxed Game Boy games, two loose Game Boy games, Super Nintendo, some NES cards, Banjo Kazooie for the N64. The Sonic VHS, Mario Cap, the seven PS2 games, and then the Dokkan Kingdom, so the eighth, the PS2, and then the uh, Slim Super Nintendo. And actually, I didn't. I don't think I said this when I was when I was telling you about it. Five bucks as is, and I actually brought it home, hooked my cords up to it, and it works just fine. So this was, this is probably the thing that made me the most happy. Uh, I've been looking for one of these for a while. I looked them up on eBay. The cheapest one on eBay is like 70 bucks. Um, so I'm really excited to have this. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you next time.